Bikini. Gary whispered as mom and dad got ready to go out for their party. Our cat thinks she is president. Both children giggled and promised mommy and daddy they would be good all evening. How do you know? She whispered as daddy got their coats out of the closet. She told me. He whispered back. She can talk. Janie had quite a time not thinking about Fluffy their cat being able to talk but finally Gary and Janie's parents were gone. What do you mean she can talk? She never talked to me. Janie said. Well, you have to ask her the right questions. Gary said smugly. I just asked her what she wanted to be and she told me that she wanted to be. President, that's right. Fluffy said walking slowly into the room. No need to whisper. Everybody knows I am going to be president. No, no, you had it all wrong Gary. The little yellow cat with long soft fur said beginning to purr. I don't think I am president, now. But I will be, it's my destiny. She said with a bit of an accent. A feline accent no doubt. But Fluffy... Janie said having trouble believing she was conversing with the house cat. Why do you think you should be president? You are just a cat. I know God made me for great things Janie. Fluffy said licking her toes. He made you for great things too, maybe not as great as me but great things. Fluffy. Gary said puzzled. Do the other animals want to be president also? He wanted to know. Well no, Fluffy answered, that would be just silly now wouldn't it? Not as silly as 12 pound cat who needs help getting down from trees wanting to be president. Janie thought but she didn't say it because she didn't want to upset Fluffy. No, it's different for different ones. Fluffy continued, Ralphie the dog thinks he is Alexander the Great. But I think he might be mistaken because I think Alexander the Great didn't walk on all fours, Fluffy speculated. The gerbil thinks he is Abraham Lincoln. I am working with him on that one. And then there's your two goldfish, Frank and Ernest. Well they think they are World War II flying aces. I wish you would talk to them about that Janie. They like you. She continued seeing the amazement on the faces of the humans. The duckling we got for Easter thinks he is Albert Einstein and you know that big fat squirrel that keeps eating all the bird seed your parents put out. Fluffy asked. Yes, who does he think he is? Gary wondered. He thinks he is the Pope. Fluffy informed Gary. But he isn't because I saw a picture of the Pope on TV yesterday and the Pope is definitely not a squirrel. She concluded. Wow, said Janie. I had no idea animals thought so highly of themselves. And she whistled. Well Janie, Fluffy continued rolling on her back until she fell off the couch. It's possible some of us might be mistaken. But you know... You can feel inside that God has created you for something special, can't you? I know what you mean, said Gary. Pastor Mathers talked about knowing God's will for your life last Sunday and ever since then I have felt God has a calling for me but I didn't know what it is. Me too, Gary, Janie said petting Fluffy which she liked a lot. At the youth retreat, I almost felt like God was leading me to go on the missions trip but I don't know for sure. Well, I am only a house cat, Fluffy said realistically, but us animals know that God has made each of us for a special purpose. Janie and Gary, you keep praying and you will find out what he has put you on earth to do. You know what Janie, when you pet me, I really get the sense you are going to do some big things for God. Fluffy said and that made Janie smile. What about me Fluffy? Gary said feeling slightly left out. I think God might have big things for me too. I know he does Gary. Fluffy said jumping down and turning her tail to walk out in a huff as cats like to do. 
But first maybe you should learn to clean up your room.